flight cancellations continue as the travel industry struggles with staff shortages. Airlines, including TUI and EasyJet, are among those to make cancellations, although most customers are being given advance notice. One minute you're looking forward to getting away, and the next minute, you know, it's, everything just comes crashing down around you. It's the not knowing what to do, that's the worst part. We don't know where we... The government says the responsibility is on the travel industry to sort out these issues. Also this lunchtime. The US is to provide Ukraine with advanced rocket systems. Moscow warns it increases the risk of direct confrontation with Washington. The Deputy Prime Minister dismisses claims Boris Johnson will face a leadership contest despite growing resignation calls from Tory MPs. West Ham footballer Kurt Zuma is sentenced to 180 hours community service for kicking and slapping his pet cat. And I'm here at Buckingham Palace where major preparations are underway for a four-day celebration of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. A group of stalwart royal supporters have spent the night camping out on the Mall, determined to get a good view of tomorrow's Trooping the Colour and a historic handshake. We look back at the Queen's role in Northern Ireland after the Troubles. Coming up on the BBC News Channel, England's new Test cricket era begins with a debut for Durham fast bowler Matthew Potts in the first test against New Zealand at Lords. Good afternoon and welcome to the BBC's News at One. Flight cancellations are continuing at British airports as the industry struggles with staff shortages. British Airways has dropped 124 short-haul services from Heathrow today, but says passengers were given advance notice. The Transport Secretary, Grant Shapps, says he hasn't seen enough progress to tackle the disruption, but airlines have blamed the government for tough Covid restrictions and a lack of support. Unions have warned that the situation could get worse, before it gets better. Our correspondent Dan Johnson reports. The time is 16 minutes past one. Our top story this lunchtime. Flight cancellations continue as the travel industry struggles with staff shortages. Coming up, the media regulator Ofcom says tech firms must do more to protect women online. Coming up on the BBC News Channel, Ukraine are in Scotland to play their first competitive match since Russia's invasion. A place in the World Cup is at stake, with the winner playing Wales on Sunday. The buntings going up in streets across the country as final preparations are made ahead of four days of celebrations that start tomorrow for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. A host of events are planned nationwide, with communities throwing their own jubilee parties and activities to mark Her Majesty's 70 years on the throne. My colleague Rita Chakrabarti is outside Buckingham Palace, where all of the preparations are very well advanced by the looks. A reminder of our top story. Flight cancellations continue as the travel industry struggles with staff shortages. That's all from the BBC News at One, so it's goodbye from me. And on BBC One, we now join the BBC's news teams where you are.